Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burquist. Today we're talking about Minnesota Gophers basketball. Who would have thought we'd time, be talking about right? that Especially after year, last yeah. season. But we're in March and we're talking Gophers hoops. Like, yeah. literally, it's been 20 years since we've had a Gophers team that we can get this excited about. Yeah. Although the NCAA likes to pretend that that year never happened. Yeah. But 1997, when we made it to the Final Four, are we that good again? This is the best team since them, I would say. But are we that good again? Are we? Where are we talking about as we enter March Madness? We're actually talking Gophers in March Madness. Yeah. What are your expectations going into the tournament? As much as an optimist as we are here, and I'd love to say this team can go all the way with a national championship, uh, I don't think that's necessarily realistic. Um, I mean, I, there's always a chance, but I just don't think that's something, you know, we can hang our hat on and say, this is the year we're gonna win a national championship. I do think this can be a fun year, a fun tournament, uh, something where we can win a couple games uh, and maybe make a little bit of run uh, and have some fun. This is a fun team to watch. They've proven they can win close games, uh, playing in multiple overtime games. It seems like they're constantly playing tight games in the Big Ten. It doesn't seem like they really run away from anybody, which maybe that's not a good thing. Um, Big Ten's it, good though. But it does show that they can, they've can they learned how to play in close games, uh, playing in five overtime games. Uh, that really helps you come tournament time. They seem to have the veteran leadership in Nate Mason that seems to step up when needed. Uh, and complimentary pieces all around that and they really play a fun complimentary style of basketball. Yeah, no, I, I think early in the Big Ten season when they lost five in a row, they weren't winning those close games. Yeah. After that, when they went on that little stretch afterward, obviously, they were winning those games. And those are the games that you're going to need to win in the tournament. Yep. I think I think we can say they're going to win a game, maybe two. Uh, if they can win more than that and go into the Sweet 16, Elite Eight would be amazing. I mean, even if you win a tournament game, that's really exciting around yeah. here. We haven't had that in a while. But winning two or three would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to predict them Elite Eight or Final Four, maybe, but not Final Four. I'm not going to predict that. I'm not going to no. go crazy, like you said. Obviously not national championship yeah. or anything. But I think they do have a good young team yep. and some veteran leadership, Nate Mason. They play solid defense. They win close games. This is a team that is quite honestly got a shot at a tournament run. They're kind yeah. of built for more that Big Ten defensive clutch basketball that's yeah. kind of built for the tournament. And Big Ten teams usually do pretty well when it comes to the to the NCAA tournament. So, they do. Uh, I'll predict a good run. I'm not going to say Final Four, but is that how bad is of a cop out is that to predict a good <laughs> run? I'm just I'm just excited that we're in the discussion. Let's do a sweet that 16. we can have this conversation. Yeah. Sweet 16. I'm good with that. Let's I go haven't sweet seen 16. it since I can, you know since I can really say that I've got to watch and I'd like to see a Gophers playing in the second weekend. That'd be yeah. fun. All right, let us know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See we'll ya. see you next time.